you very much, uh, yielding back your time. Mr. Kahn, uh, if you could take a look up, we should have our scorecard up there in just a second, and that's the main thesis of what we're attempting to accomplish today. Do you mind taking a minute and just in an <coughs> overview process, tell us the good and tell us where we ought to aim of what we need to make it better? Thank you, Congressman <laughs> Session. Thank you for that question. Um, the scorecard is a snapshot of the DOD's status. That's what the bottom line is. It tracks five uh, key performance measures, which are necessary for any federal agencies to get to auditability. Uh, in this case, this has been applied. Uh, how the scores had been developed, this, uh, this is specific to the DOD's uh, uh, circumstances. Uh, the key categories are uh, financial statement reliability, uh, the progress uh, that DOD is making in uh, addressing the issues that have been identified during the financial statement audit. Uh, then it also highlights the planning, uh, the oversight, and then fin finally it focuses on the systems. Uh, the systems are critical to driving uh, financial statement auditability at uh, the Department of Defense, specifically for the military departments, the large components. Uh, their audit is only possible if DOD has sound financial management systems with operating effectiveness. Op operating effectively, uh, the key measure for that effectiveness is uh, what we have towards the bottom, systems compliant with FFMIA. That is critical for DOD to comply. Without that, it'll be very difficult. DOD, the military departments would be challenged to uh, attain auditability. It may be possible for smaller entities to be able to do that through manual workarounds, but the size of the Army, Navy, and the Air Force is immense. So it's critical for systems to be sound and compliant with FFMIA. Thank you. Earlier in the uh, hearing, we had noted that the United States Marine Corps discovered that they could get things done by working hard. As many times, it takes a team effort, and I think that that's what the Marine Corps has done. I note that they came across with an overall grade it was not just passing, but really, for the first time ever in DOD, they passed the, the audit. When we look at this, I notice there are Fs on system compliance with financial management requirements, FF, FF. Take a minute and tell me what that, how we make that better. Um, this grade is uh, in part self-reported by the uh, military services and in part it's also because uh, of a lack of reporting by the IPAs. Uh, Federal Financial Management Information Act requires compliance with three specific categories. It is compliance with federal financial management systems requirements, it's uh, compliance with federal financial accounting standards, and it's also compliance with the U.S. Standard General Ledger. Uh, the is it fair that we have that as a question? Because I think it's completely uh, within an, any audit management system that that would be required. Is that are we asking the right thing of them? Yes, sir. It's okay. essential uh, because of the size and complexity of the military departments that this compliance be attained. Mr. Steffens, uh, welcome. You're an Eagle Scout. You like to leave your campsite better than the way you found it. Are we fair? Uh, are, are we asking, are, is this grade fair that has been placed upon uh, these, this DOD organization? Um, Mr. Chairman, I, you know, I believe it's fair. I respect the grade. I respect the, the, the process that was going through and the intent here to try to get to a baseline here of how the departments are doing. Uh, what I'd offer, though, in, as supplemental to the report card here, the scorecard that was given. There are other ways that we are looking foundationally to try to assist the military departments to getting there as well. So we have a number of metrics that we look at. Uh, we have our own individual roadmaps, as, as, uh, as Mr. Kahn and, and Mr. Mansfield are aware, to get to some fine foundational things. One of the things we've learned, sir, particularly I've learned over the past two years, is uh, 
you saw some F grades there, obviously, but there are, all, there are a lot of dependencies that those military departments have on either the DOD enterprise, some of the service providers, some things they perhaps they need at, at the enterprise level from the chief information officer to get their F grade um, to a higher level. So uh, I, I just, and I understand the, the need to try to give that baseline grade, but I, I also want to stress the interdependency that's required here amongst the services and the DOD enterprise. Uh, to improve that grade. And that's what we're trying to do a lot of focus here at the DOD level into providing assistance to those military departments so they have the tools to improve. I think Mr. Banfield uh, very clearly uh, made us all aware again downrange, you're doing your job, it's hard to get the widgets done also. Uh, and I think that that was what you tried to get me to understand yesterday. It's not a lack of effort, it's just as hard getting it done. Uh, thank you very much. I'd now like to